Sunday morning, California's Auto Club Speedway. Brian Vickers, he was the fastest on Friday, but they changed an engine. He's at the rear of the field for the start at 3.30, whenever TV decides to pull the trigger. They found some engine filings, some filings in Michael Waltrip's motor, made by the same people, TRD, out here in California. And so Brian's people decided to change engines, be safe. Puts him at the rear. So Toyota's have some speed. Teammate Scott Speed's up there, ninth fastest. He looks pretty good. Only been out here, well, three days, I guess. But he's a fast qualifier. If he's a fast racer or not, I don't know. Still a rookie. But Toyota's look like they got speed. Of course, they had speed at Daytona, too. Wasn't good enough to avoid the big crash. Probably don't have to worry about a big crash here. These guys get strung out 25 car lengths apart. That's the problem. People who talk about this racetrack and say it needs to be redesigned, they need to tear it up, redo it like they did Homestead a couple times, I'm saying no. I've been to Michigan, and this track is copied on Michigan. Some of the best racing in NASCAR used to be at Michigan Speedway. Nice and wide, good racing. But then NASCAR let the speeds get up, up, up. Too darn fast. I'm sorry. Too darn fast. 210 miles an hour into the first turn here. Hey, cut that back to about 190, and you'll have good racing. There's no reason to be running that fast on a track with no banking. Hey, the backstretch, bank three degrees. The drivers, I talked to them about putting plates on the cars, anything to slow them down. Of course, drivers are grumbling about anything except their paychecks, $35 million. I'm saying suck it up, slow the cars down, run tighter together. Who wants a gas mileage race? No wonder fans don't show up out here. You got to give them something to look at. You got to give them something to enjoy. And if we have another boring race here, hey, even the best promoter in the country couldn't fill these stands. Another problem they've got, light rain may be in the forecast this evening. They're starting at 3, 3.30 local time, 6 p.m. East Coast time. Too late. That's the problem that got them into a jam at Daytona last weekend, remember? Uh, yeah, remember that. They only got three quarters of the race in. They left the last hundred miles off. Rain. If they'd started earlier, they probably could have gotten the whole race in. And last year here, oh, what a disaster that was with rain. NASCAR needs to learn from experience. They've been around this thing for a long time. You just can't let TV dictate everything anymore. You've got to stand and stand up for yourself and make sure that, that you tell them what the deal is. They're paying you for a show. You're supposed to put on a show. Not just to lead into... Homer Simpson, or whatever they put on TV on Sunday nights while we're out here working trying to figure out what went wrong this time. <laughs> Do we grumble a lot? Hey, I'm looking for Jack Roush, maybe Carl Edwards, he won here last year, maybe Matt Kenseth, he runs good out here. Jamie McMurray, he's going to be first guy across the line when they take the green. Jack Roush could go one, two, three, but he's got Jimmy Johnson to worry about. Jimmy Johnson won here last year, finished second in the spring. And after his Daytona, tire problems here, tire problems there. He stormed off from that racetrack. After the race, couldn't even talk to anybody. He was so upset. That team, teams to, that team tends to thrive on adversity. And that was an adverse day in Daytona. They could come back here, be all smiles again. Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Busch, won the truck race, won the nationwide race. Hey, he could go three for three this afternoon in a Toyota if they're not major engine problems. Dodge, haven't seen that much lately. We'll have to see what they can put out on the racetrack. They did pretty good at Daytona. Or was that just the luck of the caution? Sunday morning, California's Auto Club Speedway, Mike Mullern for MikeMullern.net.